go off. Okay, we almost understand trying to slyly win a few extra games and then get some more kills by hacking your game. People have been doing it for years, and back in the day, kids used things like Game Genie and Game Shark, which attached directly to a game cartridge and modified and patched the code in real time. It gave you cheats like making you invulnerable or unlimited lives, stuff like that. It was fun, sure, but nobody ever thought they were a better player or bragged about it because it was unearned. But that was then and this is now. Nowadays, people are looking for online fame however they can. And that brings us to this YouTube user, Blues Cruise. In 2017, this Fortnite player posted a 17 plus minute video of Battle Royale gameplay where he used hack after hack, cheat after cheat, and wasn't shy about it at all. Here's just a few of the hacks he used. Auto aim, which makes missing your target almost impossible. This is a slap in the face to any Fortnite pros who've dedicated thousands of hours to perfecting their aim. He also used a wall hack that showed him where everybody was on the map. Red parts meant that he was able to hit them directly and damage them, and green meant that he couldn't hurt them. And the final hack he used was a jump modifier, which catapulted him into the air like he just used a hop rod or a launch pad. He may have went high up, but his likes on the video sure didn't. This post my hack plan ended up backfiring, and he got bombarded with dislikes. I guess any press is good press doesn't really apply this time, huh? The 14 year old defendant. It's one thing to get caught cheating and get banned or suspended. These are pretty common penalties for screwing around with the video games when you shouldn't be. But apparently Epic Games sees it entirely differently because they dropped the hammer on a 14 year old boy who cheated. They said because he violated the terms of service that he had to pay. It's kind of a lot to deal with for a few extra kills, huh? The boy's mother sent a letter to the court trying to get the case dropped explaining that the terms of service require a parental consent, which she never gave. This would mean that the entire thing was null and void. Epic Games was mainly thought to be pursuing this as a scare tactic to deter other players from cheating in the future. In October of 2017, thousands of players were banned from Fortnite for cheating, so they mean business. The mother of the child also says that her son didn't help create a cheating software, which is what Epic claims, but he just downloaded it as a user and got caught. Now, a lot of people would call this overkill. Imagine downloading a program to help you in game, and it winds up putting you in a court battle broadcasted around the world. You just know that the kid is never living that one down. What do you think? Did Epic go too far? Did the 14 year old get what he deserved? The World Record Hack Imagine this messed up scenario. You're a great Fortnite player, and you're making a living live streaming on Twitch. You're talking to your teammates, your followers, and generally just having an awesome time playing the game. When all of a sudden, in the corner at Shifty Shafts, you see something strange. A player just running full speed into the wall. Would you think that they're A, a disconnected player, B, the biggest noob of all time, or C, a hacker ready to strike? Well, if you guess C, you'd obviously be right. And you'd be just like the Twitch streamer Fizzy Sports Logger. He captured on camera this exact situation, and what happens next is enough to make you spit out your slurp juice. After he sees the player at the wall, he randomly dies without being shot at. Okay, maybe explained away by lag, but not likely. But after that, boom. One by one, every player in the game is eliminated. In total, there were 87 kills attributed to this guy. And to add insult to injury, the kills were apparently by vehicle. Maybe he was pushing an invisible shopping cart around the map at hyper speed and crushing everyone, like something Quicksilver would do in X-Men. Or maybe he's just another hacker caught on the big stage. And because Fizzy Sports Logger is a New Zealand streamer with thousands of views, he'll always be internationally known as a cheater. Take that for punishment. Underground Gunner Glitches on the Fortnite map are nothing new. In fact, Epic has removed and re-added the shopping carts a few times for exactly this reason. Apparently, they were glitching so much, it would send people under the map and kill them with fall damage. It's like they took a trip to the Upside Down from Stranger Things. Not exactly what you want from a new fun vehicle, huh? Anyways, there are ways to get under the map in the game that one, aren't glitches, and two, don't immediately kill you. And because you're watching this video, you already know that those methods are sketchy cheats. Twitch player King Richard 
found this out the hard way when he died out of absolutely nowhere during one of his streams. Since there was no explanation, he decided to watch the player that killed him and see if he could figure out what just happened. What he saw was a player just chilling out under the main map watching the world above him. And then after a while, he started blasting away with a shotgun and swinging his axe too. The 50 plus kills weren't real at all. They were ill-gotten goods. And he got made fun of on the big stage. How can you have any pride at all in these kind of wins? Guys like this would rather take the easy way out instead of grinding away and getting better like the rest of us. This glitch was first found in Fatal Fields and was reported to be able to be done in Salty Springs too. Epic looked into it and claimed it was all fixed, but till this day, there are still reports of underground kills just like this. Big Map, Big Cheat No, this isn't a scene from Saving Private Ryan or any other movie featuring pro snipers, but it certainly feels like something out of Hollywood. Because the only way this kind of ridiculous accuracy happens is on film. Thanks to Reddit user Emblem, we get a peek into some serious long distance hacking. It's undeniably a cheat. Upon further investigation from another Reddit user named Bipolar Sandwich, this cheater had an average of 30.2 kills per game over 12 matches. Wow. And those kills only went up from there. Either this is the most naturally gifted gamer of all time, or this dude just got caught red handed. I mean, the shots were coming from almost 200 meters away, which is already a giveaway. All this does is completely ruin the gameplay for everybody else, just so some terrible player can feel better about themselves. A kill to death ratio of 113 to 1 is the best we've ever seen. But how are we going to pretend that any of that is respectable when we have video footage of the cheat? If this came during the brief sniper rifle only mode, then maybe we can consider giving props to the player getting incredibly lucky. But he didn't miss a single shot, over and over, and took out Milky TV's entire squad. Reddit users seem to believe that this is a new hack that'll be making the rounds more and more. So prepare for potentially dying by the hands of cheaters more often. Epic, you better get on this. This seems like it's right up your alley. Famous meets infamous. If you're a Fortnite fan who hasn't heard of Ninja, you've probably been hiding under a rock. This is the world famous player who early in 2018 teamed up with Drake and other mega celebs and football players to play Battle Royale. Now that's officially superstar status. Anyways, Ninja and his best buddy Dr. Lupo were both streaming like any other day. And whoops, they were killed by a hacker. Talk about bad luck for this guy because he couldn't have picked a worse pair to hack kill. Epic tries to grab every cheater they can, and there have been even reports of them hiring private investigators to track them down. But in this case, on one of the biggest stages possible, their failure was on full display. This hacker in a bunny brawler skin had a few suspicious things about them. They were using a scoped assault rifle for one, and they didn't miss a single shot at medium range. Once Ninja rewatched the kills, he noticed a few things. Every shot fired was a headshot, so that was four in a row against Ninja and three in a row against Dr. Lupo. They did the right thing, and they took down his name, and it seems like they reported him too. So Epic Games has definitely been alerted to the issue. Popular streamers like Ninja are exactly what catapulted Fortnite into extreme popularity it currently has. Without them, Fortnite would likely be just another middling game with a small but dedicated fan base. Epic talks a huge game about removing hackers. And
www.thepeopleshow.com.